Robbie Williams has defended his controversial decision to sing in Qatar during the World Cup after a host of A-listers turned down lucrative offers to perform at the opening ceremony. The rock DJ singer, 48, has even claimed it would be hypocritical not to go despite international outrage at Qatar's human rights record, which includes its criminalization of homosexuality and links to Islamist extremism. Qatar has been condemned for its abysmal treatment of the LGBTQ community and women. Homosexuality is illegal there, with people facing fines and up to seven years in jail. And many migrant workers are said to have died building the stadiums for the World Cup. FIFA's decision to hold the tournament there has been dogged with controversy. Angels singer Williams will play at Doha Golf Club on December 8, a decision he has vehemently defended. The former Take That member has said it would be wrong for him not to perform over human rights concerns, as he's already sung in many countries with questionable regimes. Robbie said he wouldn't even be able to perform in my own kitchen if he boycotted places where human rights were abused. The singer told Italian newspaper Real Venera di Di Repubblica, of course, I don't condone any abuses of human rights anywhere. That being said, if we're not condoning human rights abuses anywhere, then it would be the shortest tour the world has ever known. I wouldn't even be able to perform in my own kitchen. Anybody leaving messages saying no to Qatar are doing so on Chinese technology. It would be hypocritical of me to not go, to Qatar, because of the places that I do go to. I think that the hypocrisy there is that if we take that case in this place, we need to apply that unilaterally to the world. Then if we apply that unilaterally to the world, nobody can go anywhere. His shocking comments come after huge stars like Shakira, Rod Stewart and Dua Lipa all revealed they were boycotting the opening ceremony and had turned down deals to perform. Never one to turn down an opportunity, Williams has previously come under fire for performing in objectionable countries. He performed at the opening ceremony in the World Cup in Russia in 2018 despite Vladimir Putin's annexation of Crimea in 2014. The event had been boycotted by the British government in the wake of the poisoning of former Russian spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter, Yulia in Salisbury. Also in 2018. Robbie played at a private party to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Megaphone, the Russian mobile phone company controlled by oligarch Alisher Usmanov. The former Arsenal FC shareholder was sanctioned in March by No. 10 for being associated with individuals within the government of Russia who are involved in destabilizing and threatening the sovereignty and independence of Ukraine. He also allegedly performed for Putin's inner circle in Moscow in 2014 after being invited to sing by former Chelsea FC owner Roman Abramovich, who has since been sanctioned by the UK government following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. According to emails leaked by Ukrainian hackers, Abramovich laid on a New Year event for 100 guests. Among them, apparently was former Putin aide Vladislav Surkov, who recently called for Ukraine, Belarus and the Baltic states to be annexed ahead of the invasion. He has since been sanctioned by both the EU and the US. In 2016, the singer was reportedly paid one pound. Six million for performing at the wedding of Russian oil magnate Rashid Sardarov's daughter Victoria in Czech capital Prague. Robbie's decision to perform in the Gulf state has been met with widespread condemnation from fans. Just be honest and say the money was too good to pass up, one fan blasted on Twitter.
Another joked, he abuses my human rights every time he releases a piece of music. A third asked, what human rights has he been abusing his own kitchen then? Amnesty International has been critical of the controversial tournament and recently urged FIFA to compensate World Cup migrant workers. Amnesty's Peter Frankenthal previously told The Mirror he would like to see Dada for Williams use the platform to call out Qatar's oppressive treatment. He said, major stars like Robbie Williams have significant influence and we'd like to see him using this concert to publicly address the topic of Qatar's poor human rights record, especially widespread labor abuses and the criminalization of LGBTI people. He said a few well-chosen words from the star would be hugely welcome.